and welcome back, it's Slade here and in today's video this is just me saying that I'm back and basically what I'm going to be doing in this video is showing off all the Deathstroke outfits that I have made uh, custom based off of the uh, comic books uh, that I have read and yeah, just let me know what you guys think uh, I do have a long part at the end where I just talk to you guys for about seven minutes. You guys can skip that if you want, but uh, yeah, it's just letting you guys know how things have been going. And yeah, let's get on to the video. For outfit number one is this one. This one is based off of the Deathstroke Volume 2 out of the Rebirth uh, when he visits Adeline um, just in his casual it's casual wear. So it's just a regular pair of jeans, leather jacket, grey t-shirt and a pair of jeans. Now in the comic he does wear a, it's like a black blazer, but in this the blazers are more, they're too, they make the character look far too bulky. And yeah, so that's the look I went for, especially with the hair and uh, the glasses are as well. Because um, obviously you can't get the eye patch but when he's in his casual wear he always wears glasses except for in this one and this one he wears an eye patch or it's not an eye patch but it's like a, a cap on his on his eye um, so yeah that's it for number one now uh, this is my second deathstroke outfit uh, this is the first deathstroke one um, this is more just your regular deathstroke the one that you're most likely to get everywhere um, that does have this mask on. This is for more of the people who want to go for the orange instead of the red split mask. Um, honestly, I'm much more of a fan of the orange than the red. There isn't much clothing items that go with this uh, this mask, but I still think the orange is the way to go when it comes to Deathstroke. So this isn't based on any particular Deathstroke from the comics or the movies. This is just a bog standard militarised uh, Deathstroke outfit. Alright. Now, this is the Deathstroke outfit number, well, two technically. This is just a not again, uh, more of a custom version. This was loosely based off of the kind of the new 52 Deathstroke with a mix of probably the starting outfit from uh, the Family Matters, I think it is, comic book uh, for Deathstroke with the, the silver mixed in through the black. Now obviously we can't exactly get the orange shoulder pads or anything like that but again this is sticking with the orange mask and going for more of a grey approach to the outfit. I was keeping some of the black and yeah I think this outfit works especially just adds that wee bit more of a, a gradient between the colours and more of a contrast uh, making this outfit probably one of my favourite Deathstroke outfits I've made so far. Alright now let's move on to the next one. Now this outfit here is more of an experimental one. Um, I wanted to keep the orange with also keeping the black and adding a wee bit more of the orange around. Now this orange in this game is, although it is orange, it's close to brown as well. So I've went with the brown leather gloves as well to try and get that brown colour through the gloves. Now these, uh, the pants on this outfit, I would probably go with them due to you being able to put on a similar colour of boots, uh, the kind that I've got on, uh, you can get them in a closer colour to the gloves. I never put them on this outfit just because this is an experimental one and it's based on the Icon prototype from Deathstroke Rebirth, but I do have a better one coming up. The only thing is, is this one was to stick with that orange instead of going with the red. Uh, and obviously the other one has the red and it's got a wee bit more of a change to it with the, the colour scheme too. Alright, now let's move on to the next one. So, this is the Icon Suit version 2 that I made. Um, now obviously in the comic, the Rebirth comic, the Icon Suit has one white sleeve with an orange shoulder and sort of half of the torso as well, uh, of the upper torso. 
as well as having the orange gloves and the orange boots. Now, I never put the orange in because obviously it's more red on this mask. This mask is probably, if I'm honest, it is a nice touch to the outfit, but it's still a bit more of a... I think it's too red for Deathstroke, but it does make it look a lot more sleek, and hence why I've got the this mask on with the icon suit seen as, as more of a futuristic outfit and I feel that this one works more for that icon suit. Um, I do have a third version of the icon suit, this one was just more adding the white to it without having too much of the scarf showing through. Uh, again, just an experimental outfit when it comes to the rebirth outfit but that's what it's loosely based off of. Right, on to the next outfit. Now again, one last icon outfit with that mask, uh, this one is bog standard, it's as plain and simple as you'll get it, uh, if I'm honest I like this one more than any of the other icon suits, just because the icon suit is more sleek and it doesn't need all that padding and all that armour due to it being, uh, I think it's it's like a force field, that's how Deathstroke simp uh, simplifies the uh, the word it's some sort of kinetic sheath or something which comes from Dr. Icon and again I will probably if this video does well and people enjoy it then I might make a second one which will have a bit more of a Deathstroke outfit orientated when it comes to the other characters around them throughout the comics that I have read. Um, I've read all of the New 52 stuff, I've read, well actually we'll get on to that at the end of the video, let's move on to the next outfit. Now this outfit is a bit more, it's it's a custom outfit, it's not based on anything, it's just based obviously on Deathstroke but not on any particular version. Uh, I just thought maybe adding a tan scarf would add a wee bit more of a di bit more diversity throughout the outfit, um, whilst keeping with that military look uh, throughout. throughout. Um, there are some parts of this that I do like, especially with the scarf and uh, the mask looking a bit more sleek, but other than that it is more or less the first outfit I made except with a scarf change and a mask change, that's it. Um, so yeah, this one's probably my second or maybe third out favourite outfit out of all of the Deathstroke outfits that I have made. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the next one. So again, we all we have done in this outfit is change the mask and just to make it so then it suits more of the people who prefer this mask over the other one. Um, again, another custom outfit, adding a wee bit more of grey and a sleeker look with the mask. Um, all it does is it just it clarifies the, the importance of the mask due to obviously the way that Deathstroke has done it. Um, throughout the comics he has had just a full orange mask before he lost his eye, once he lost his eye anyway with the split, but um, again, the, that's an outfit that I would love to make, but it's not in this collection, I have special things. So yeah, this is, this is my second custom red mask, uh, best of it. On to the next one, now for this being the last outfit for all of the best of it, I have made so far. Um, this one is based off of the New 52. Now, the New 52 had more of the shoulder pads and it was a lot, of, it was a much brighter orange, but obviously having the orange mask with the shoulder pads wouldn't work due to the red on the shoulder pads and the chest piece, as well as in the Rebirth comic, Deathstroke was a lot bigger of a character. He was a lot older in this uh, storyline. I mean, yes, he is known as an old character, but his youth is supposed to sustain him and keep him with those young looks that his uh, healing factor gives to him. Um, but basically what that outfit had was, it was the bright orange gloves with the Batman-ish gauntlets with the spikes on it, as well as the big shoulder uh, upper torso piece with the neck piece as well. And then it had the big knee-high boots that are not so much knee high but he had the big boots and then the, the the knee pads the elbow pads it was just a lot more of a black and loads of orange throughout the outfit 
Alright, so this is the final outfit for this collection. Now, switching back to uh, the conclusion of this video, and yeah, we'll get, we'll, uh, we'll continue this later. So there you have it, that is the last of my Destro collection uh, when it comes to outfits on GTA. And yeah, basically that that's more or less it. If you guys want to see another outfit video based around Deathstroke's uh, companions, due to uh, based off of various comics I have read, and those comics I've read are more of the Tony S. Daniel Deathstroke series, the one with Gods of War, um, the, based off of Volume One, Two, Three, and Four of that series. Um, as well as the Deathstroke New 52 and Deathstroke Rebirth. Uh, I'm currently halfway through the Rebirth stuff, but I'll promise I'll have that finished by the time probably this video uploads. Um, so yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. And just let me know what you guys think of these outfits. Do you want to see more of them? Are outfits still relevant when it comes to GTA videos? Are GTA videos still relevant? Um, lately I've been playing a lot of No Man's Sky, so if you guys want to see some of that, I probably won't start from scratch due to how much I have actually done so far. I've spent probably about 20 hours so far um, on a new save, but if you guys want to see some No Man's Sky stuff, I'm more than happy to do that. Maybe even some I don't know if you want to play a lot of Star Wars Battlefront 2. Um, as for a couple of videos of that, um, there's there's a couple of games that I have gotten right back into, uh, especially No Man's Sky due to that next update. And yeah, if you guys want to see that, I'll let you know my what what I think about the next update, what I think about uh, Star Wars Battlefront, and the upcoming stuff that's coming for it. If you guys want to see more of that stuff, or, or not so much more of it, if you just want to see any of that stuff from me, let me know and I will try and get those videos out to you guys as soon as possible. Sorry I haven't been too active. I do have an announcement to make and it is I'm currently working on a GTA Machinima based around Gotham as a whole. Uh, this one includes quite the roster, uh, if I'm honest. It includes Batman, it includes uh, Red Robin, it includes Batgirl, Black Canary, uh, Deathstroke, Deadshot, Joker, uh, maybe even a bit of Harley Quinn, and yeah, that's, that's quite the roster when it comes to uh, this, this stuff these videos and or this this uh, machinima I, I, I do have voice actors we've recorded all the lines we've still got so much to, well not so much to record we've got a few parts to record when it comes to that um, such as I think we've got about three scenes to film but for those scenes we need numbers we need people uh, so again this is an announcement we're looking for people, I'm looking for people, to help me finish this skit. We need roughly between six and seven people on uh, to film these parts. One of the parts is a matter of we need it to be night time to record that part. Hopefully we can get that recorded before uh, we get the last parts done. Um, but yeah, I, I missed out a couple of characters in that roster, uh, such as the Penguin, he's in it too. We've also got Red Hood. Uh, there's even, I think we're going to have a wee part of another mystery character that you'll see probably later on in the, in the film. Uh, we have recorded most parts, like, there's a whole, there's a, there's just a dialogue scene which is one of the shortest scenes in the, in the thing. That's about a minute and a half long so far. Uh, that scene's completely finished. We've also got Alfred in there. Alfred has a good wee part, a couple of parts of that. Um, but there's there's a lot to be done when it comes to this uh, this video, uh, this film, and although it doesn't sound like I've got a lot to do, 
I do have a lot to do. I've edited most of the parts and yeah the roster is huge so again for a roster you've got Batman, Red Robin, Nightwing, Batgirl, Black Canary, Red Hood, Penguin, Joker, Scarecrow, Harley Quinn, Deadshot, Deathstroke and Alfred. I believe that's everyone uh, when it comes to this film. Uh, but I get that's a roster of at least that's 13 people. And then obviously you've got the goons and stuff, but other than that, that's that's everything so far. That's everything we've got so far and we need your help to finish this film. Uh, if you guys want to see it out soon. Alright, so this is me finishing up. I know I already said that, so again, comment down below if you have a gamer tag and want to, or not a gamer tag, PSN network account and want to get in touch with me uh, and help me out with this uh, this video. And yeah, I'll try and get I'll try and get you in, and we can we can actually get this scene done. So other than that, I think that's everything, except for one last thing. I have hosted a new DC role playing group, and this role playing group hasn't even had one role play session due to active members not being active. So if you guys are interested in that, it's basically cops and crooks as any life role play except. Obviously the crooks are your villains and the cops are the heroes and then you've also got passive roles such as the GCPD and Argus uh, with those roles. Everything runs through them and villains run the stories. That's it. That's the, villains run the roleplay. Nothing else. We don't have many heroes when it comes to this. We've got quite a decent amount of villains right now, but no heroes. Um, so yeah, we're still looking for people for that, and yeah, so there's a couple of announcements to be made. Uh, just let me know in the comment section. Leave a like, subscribe if you want more of this stuff, and you want to see that GTA, GTA Machinima. I have two Machinimas up uh, just now. The Deathstroke Conflicted Contract and Deathstroke Origins. Those two are done. The origins are based off of the New 52. Probably the only good thing about the Deathstroke New 52 stuff, in my opinion, from what I liked, is origins. But other than that, it's as me. I'm signing out. That's it. I am not going to ramble anymore. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.